Welcome blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here for your weekly love reading. My name is Carolyn and it's for August 8th through 14th, 2022. We've got major energies still going on. This is rapid fire, especially for the divine unions and all Holy Girl counterparts coming into this divine union template. So we've got the 8-8 Lions Gate, which fully supports Holy Girl counterparts coming into divine union, as well as our Ascension DNA upgrade process. So this is all for the Holy Grail, all for Holy matrimony I'm hearing as well so the marriage template is really coming in stronger than ever I'm hearing the wedding of the lamb right now as well we also have on Thursday the Aquarius full moon so very potent energies this week that's on the 11th so let's see how these marriage energies are coming through for the two of you here um, I'm hearing like these karmic relationships are over so I think this has been um, a big part especially in July of putting a final close to that chapter is what I'm hearing it as and because we've been clearing the veils of illusions the spells um, the division template ultimately within and without and it's clearing out the consciousness so we have karmic relationships where we have a strong bond and connection to a karmic soul-based contract manipulators and liars is what i'm hearing so these are lifetimes of that that could be ancestral genetic um, we've talked about this quite a bit so you know exactly what i'm talking about so this might be um your own realization your own conclusion your own closure chapter closing so some sort of getting to some peace and clear understanding and i think it's also seeing the bigger picture the new way um forward here so even if you are not sure who this holy girl counterpart is that god has for you you might be more sure than ever of who isn't that person for you where you could have been confused for a while and so the most high has been clearing up that confusion and um, giving us more of a clear answer, clear direction. And it's simply through shedding the layers and layers and layers out of the consciousness that have kept us suppressed. Uh, so this is part of our awakening process that we're all going through into enlightenment here and reunion with the most high God as well. Reunion with spirit, reunion with ourselves, reunion with the divine counterparts. We're all coming back into one unified field for this age of Aquarius that we're in now. So we have wealth for the two of you's the overall energy. Um, the Six of Pentacles, so this is great energy, especially for your divine masculine Christ counterpart here, whether they're male or female, this financial sector and foundation has been very important to them. Um, and that's been a big uh, factor in what they've been moving through the past few months. We also have the Seven of Wands here. So this is where I'm feeling like the, the challenges are coming to an end here. I'm hearing offspring or no more. Um, so completed. So the if you have children now, both of you and or future generations, so this is an ancestral genetic. And this is, a, again, because the two of you here are star seeds. You've come here as light workers to clear this genetic karma from the Piscean age as well, especially also financially and any sort of slave control systems of this is really breaking free from the matrix right and so part of this role that the two of you here have come to play in this lifetime has been to free the genetics and ancestry so now everything you're creating even if it's not going to be children it's like the offspring of your creations here as well are free of uh what kept you suppressed in some sort of lack, I would say, with the wealth card energies here. So, but there definitely could be some sort of, I, I'm seeing it's coming from, for the feminine channel here. So, so this could be something around a feminine healing that you've been going through, abundance and harvest. Um, we are creating through that feminine template as well as the Empress uh, frequency that we hold. And this is an abundance supply harvest, again, is what I'm hearing. So there's, this is the windfall. This is the Holy Grail union. This is the alchemy of the two of you. This is your alchemy within your own temple as well of, of your ability to create. And this is, and I'm hearing these nuances are also coming to a completion. So this is where you might have, and I'm hearing divine union within because our natural birthright is to be alchemists, creators, and create the reality we want for ourselves with ease and without a lot of putting in that work and effort. So, and I'm hearing you're getting the mind right on this here, the wealth channel is what I'm hearing. So it's like these things are coming in 
So because we've been clearing all this illusion and lack and suppression and I'm hearing disappointments as well, like all these emotional wounding and then also fears of being attacked is another factor in this and having when you have gotten ahead in life and maybe some sort of financial gains as well or some sort of assets that the attacks would come in stronger and this is past life stuff this is subconscious things as well so these could be uh, suppression templates you've been carrying ancestral and genetic um, you know we've been uh, what I'm being sh shown right now is like the past uh, parents and grandparents and great-grandparents they went through the depression they could have had uh, the land taken away we have that with indigenous we have that with uh, um, where I live the um, Japanese I was just learning about that a couple weeks ago how they're you know in the early 1900s here in Canada they were taken to internment camps their land everything they owned was removed from them and all of their possessions is what I'm hearing. So it's like these things, grandparents, grandfather rights is also what I'm hearing. So it's like these things could have happened and I don't know about history, a lot of history in other countries, but I'm pretty sure like, and I'm hearing war torn Israel, like this could be a lot of common um, factors that we're still carrying in our genetics of times in life where our ancestors have been, you know, having a good stable life and it just all suddenly collapse and fall away. So. This is another, um, I know <laughs> this probably isn't so much connected to the love energy here, but it's important to understand the depths of what the two of you have been going through. And I'm hearing it as mind-heart balance. It's in your genetics, God is saying as well. So there's, uh, what God is saying here is there's something that's been unknown to you that's being shown to you both this week around this. So because your counterpart has really had fears of getting into the relationship, fears of having, um, and I'm hearing it as like persecution template, having sharing wealth with another person and having that taken away through separation, divorce, courts, these sorts of experiences that they might've had in the past. Um, people just, maybe uh, exes just really challenging them on financial things when they were in a relationship you know and so these are fears and that they've had to release and let go of so actually let's read them first here because i'm feeling a lot of them right now uh, we do have the hermit card here so this could speak also this is about them going their own way with this here um, because they understand this truth this could be them also like they are following their heart here not totally knowing the results of the chamber made is what i'm hearing the results of this so far with your union uh we have the knave of wands here as well there's this is the caduceus in it with uh hermes i believe this is here and then we also have the death card coming through so there is some sort of, I think, control system basically that they're walking away from and I do think it's connected to, um, this could be definitely something that they've been going through since uh, Aries season. So that's definitely in the monthly love readings when this has been showing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, six months I'm also seeing here as well. So they've definitely done, I think the healing work is coming to an end. This is about them getting their life force energy back here as well and not being controlled by outside energy. So I'm, I'm feeling like they're, they're walking away from that this week. And I'm hearing it as abundant supply and harvest. So they have this God guidance system here. They've definitely been putting in a lot of time and effort to get to this level of removing themselves from situations that haven't been working out for them. So this could have been a good year to two years, a year and a half as well, that they've been going through this bigger picture process and then transmuting the deep emotional pain and attachments and um, the what was showing up in the monthly love readings around this is like they've been going through the day-to-day -day just trying to get themselves out of these situations here and i'm hearing these cycles are coming to completion and then these past few months have really been about okay things are actually calming down so they don't have to be so diligently dealing with it but then they have to deal with the internal component of it here and so and the losses and come to some sort of healing with that but this is what's leading to harvest for them 
I'm, I'm hearing it's connected with the new moon. So that'll be towards the end of the month here as well. That'll be the Virgo new moon. So, which also speaks a lot about um, financial abundance. And there's some sort of completion with the uh, Capricorn new moon. So from January of 2022 is also what I'm hearing is going on here. So let's see what their other cards are. So this is good because this is in their consciousness. They, they've let go. So this was a big literal setback that they had in their mind that they were processing through um, so that they can open up to love here and having a new relationship again and without the fears of wanting a commitment, the fears of living with someone, the fears of uh, sharing finances, sharing a life, sharing a home. Um, they did, they, they had to overcome all of that so that the two of you can come into union here. And I'm hearing harvest again with that. So we've got the two of pentacles emotionally here. We've got the eight of wands. There's a beautiful white rose in this card here as well. Again, this could, I'm hearing it as cellular healing. This could be a big feminine channel healing that they've been going through. And I am seeing like the, with the cellular healing, like there's been a shedding, a big shedding that they've been processing through. And the last card we have is this beautiful dog. It's loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. So this is them being um, emotionally open, unconditionally loving, a loyal, faithful counterpart. And I think opening up to having that with you here. So this has been a big, long road that they've been on, a burden that they've been carrying here that they have had to release. They're in the process of releasing this here as well. And this is why they're walking away from that here. It's speaking like with the death card, um, these entities are no longer is what I'm here and hearing. And there's some sort of definite balance coming in here. Um, and I think it could be connected with the 11th of the full moon. So that's on the 11th. And I'm seeing like the 11 energy here being that one, one portal gateway frequency as well for them to move through and get that unity happening here with the two of pentacles card. So it could be, and I'm hearing breaking the spells with the Aquarius full moon, the breaking the spell that was controlling their finances, God just said. So that's exactly what it was, but it is coming from the emotional inception point ultimately. So these things were keeping them emotionally suppressed and not wanting to share, I think just open themselves up emotionally, just out of fears, fears and logic. And so there's some, something coming up now where it's like that em mental emotional healing is happening. They're getting more peace in their mindset about it here, uh, ready to open up again as well. And then more emotionally open and available as well. And I think connecting, listening to their own emotions ultimately here as well, not suppressing the feedback that they're getting from their heart basically here as well. So the, I, I'm feeling a big purification is going on for them. I am hearing like the veils of illusions are clearing for them. And there's definitely a suppression from this Piscean age that is a masculine dictatorship control that's been purifying. I think this is what I'm seeing is it's been cleaning out of their blood as well. So there's a cells, the blood, like this has been God transmuting this. This is what the Schumann energy blasts have been doing. Um, these full moons, new moons, uh, all these portals. There's been so much, um, I'm hearing the word depression as well. They could have been going some, through some sort of depression. Maybe this is their emotional detox. So the depression really is our body releasing old stored memories, old stored emotions that need to heal the trauma. And so I'm hearing it like as their own value and worth system is all. So that was being depleted is what I'm hearing. So this is what's that karma is over though. So I'm hearing like there's a new the new blood, the new bloodline. This is them having new genetics here as well. So these catastrophes are over, God just said as well. So there's something with this entity that would attack them and their genetics and their health and their well-being. And it could be my, mentally, emotionally, physically, like the, all these ways that their health could have been um, taxed basically. So... They're getting their mind right. There's some sort of with uh, understanding coming through for them now that so they're seeing things definitely differently than they've understood them in the past. So the rectification, there's something now this week for them that's going to 
with these things breaking on the full moon and more of this healing, this deep genetic cellular blood healing that they're going through, more truth, come accuracy, more emotions opening up. So this is a big transition and ending that they're going through here this week, but it's really healing them. I'm Again, I'm hearing it as their worth and value system. So maybe they didn't feel like they were worthy to have a relationship. Maybe there was a lot of talk from past partners that really, and even parents that really put them down and they didn't think they were good enough here. So that's what also I'm hearing they're going to be overcoming those thoughts. And so self-talk, so they could have been very like self um, punishment kind of energy here and self-loathing sort of guilt, shame, um, some sort of self-punishment that was keeping them suppressed. So even if there weren't outside people doing it, that this was kind of, they were doing it to themselves because of these things that were still like in the subconscious mind. Um, so as the blocks, we do have the devil. So I, this is truly, and we have protection. So that's really beautiful to hear. This is more of a um, basphemet sort of devil here. This is a androgynous being coming through. It's very interesting. And then the last cards we have is a five of wands. So with the seven, seven of wands, no, sorry, the knave of wands. Where was that? The seven of wands is the overall energy here with the five of wands. So they're breaking through free and God is protecting them. So this is what's going to come through, I think, this week. There's some sort of definite understanding that they're getting. So this protection is like they're pr protecting themselves. That's the thing. So they're not, this is where the balance is coming into play for them. So even if there is a self-talk coming up, they're going to see it accurately. They're going to override that and protect themselves from going down that loophole anymore. They can see the red flags, possibly like with depression energy. They're going to, um, when they had a thought and then that thought would have perpetuated and got worse and worse and they could have gone down this rabbit hole of all the things that they regret doing in life or, you know, these things could have just been taking over from one initial trigger one initial thought and now i think these triggers and stuff they're going to stop them see them for what they are and not you know they're going to fight them off basically I, I i'm feeling like they're going to be understanding that these are demonic energies these are very low vibrational entities that are just trying to control them and they're they're false or lies or illusions that they are truly loved. They're a love-based being. They're going to see this within themselves here as well and that they want love. And the truth is that they are loving. I'm hearing like a loving Holy Girl counterpart. So they're going to see this within themselves. Their shadow wounds are over. This is where the emotional overhaul is happening for them this week. This is why it's important for them here with the Hermit card to get into their power trust their own inner light here they're, they're finding this this is where the cycles are completing like they found this love within themselves they found their heart and their emotional body and this truth of their own cap capabilities to love you love themselves um within themselves here these old structures are over god just said so they're tr finally coming to an end here um so their final outcome towards the union we have movement the strength card here wow and then the seven of cups. So this is their choice. Their choice is to, to, to fight off. We have this Leo energy coming through with this lion just fighting off this entity that's trying to attack. There's a serpent in this card here as well. We are in Leo season, so this could be definitely giving them that power that they need here to move in this new direction and choose different now. Choose calm. Like there's the water's very calm in this card where this emotional balance card there's a lot of big waves in this card. This is, um, again, there's this Japanese artwork in here. So it kind of brings me back to some sort of ancestral genetic energy that they've also been releasing around this. These war wounds is what I'm hearing. So there's been a lot of war in multiple cultures in the past few um, family lifetimes here. So 
there could be a big completion of that for harvest, God is saying again. So I'm hearing like all of these cycles are coming to a completion here now for good, close, like for massive closure. So this is a big picture week. This is a big collapsing again of the Piscean age and the genetics and generational curse basically that's over for the two of you. And it's just freeing the two of you up to move on. And the most important thing I th I'm feeling like for this week is that they have this, like they learn these lessons. There's some self-understanding here. I'm starting to burp now. It's the solar plexus, the power centers, their masculine power is also getting balanced and they're getting their power back, their energy back, their truth back, their drive with the movement as well. Um, so this could be, and they have these wand cards um, speaking about their, their power, their energy, um, the career, wealth. So their stagnation is coming to a completion is what I'm hearing as well. I'm also hearing like lucrative deals with the devil. So there could be some part of them in the past that also was persuaded financially to engage in things that were not, that were ultimately taking advantage of them financially. So they could have entered into contracts, bought certain um, stocks, you know, um, partnerships, all these sorts of ways that this could have happened that lucrative that they were being taken advantage of as well so they're also going to override that and not fall for these tricks any longer either and re-engage in them so i think there's a lot of lessons learned that they're moving through here it's a big process <laughs> this week um but they're overcoming it is the words i'm hearing and it's going to help them be stable be self-sufficient be um capable of creating you know now with the six of pentacles this is going to come the, the rewards are coming back here there's money that's coming back in abundance supply god's been programming this in as well like this is coming our way it's coming from our father as well and so when we get this all in our lives you know if they had this if they didn't have this cleared that money could have also like gone back out to the devil right away as well and it could have been a problem between the two of you that you you know you weren't in agreement with how the assets were used um some sort of division in this area is the way i'm feeling like because of these attachments and these wounds and this mindset that's clearing here so this is going to help i feel like everything for the foundation for the two of you here to have a healthy fresh start abundant supply and be using it correctly here um and i'm also hearing like uh fear, fear doing things based out of fear is also coming to an end collapsing so Act, act, taking actions based on fear with financial actions based on fear as well is also coming to an ending so it's like you both are trusting in the guidance in the most high god and listening together and how to be using these um the supply that you're receiving as well so more of a teamwork is what it feels like is happening for harvest is again what i'm hearing so for you this week we have love and the king of swords and then judgment but i do feel like this is your counterpart here and so the, this is the the truth being revealed here to your holy girl counterpart so there is that like this is the week for this to happen The, the consciousness expansion to happen so i what i'm seeing is like you've been you especially as a feminine i'm seeing the white rose here as well for you i'm seeing the nine i'm hearing it as the magdalene seed branch you've been waiting on the masculine to get this freedom this healing this harvest to come through so there's some so so, so money won't be lost any longer is what i'm hearing so now this is happening for the two of you this week and it's going to align you with love with them so there's something that will open up as well for you and it's going to free you to open up your mindset there's some definitely some sort of portal this week that the two of you are going through here 
and it's coming because there's balance. So the, the, you two are the same match, the same frequency, something's coming into a harmonic balance this week. That's allowing the two of you to move to get together ahead, um, climb this ladder here, enter into more of a unified feel together. It's, it's around the mindset for sure that this is coming through. I'm feeling like my body shifting. <laughs> I'm feeling the timeline shift happening here. I'm feeling like I'm moving through the portal. 1111 code's got the same masterpiece. One mind, one mind. I'm feeling all the pain in the back of my head. So God's, pro, you know, creating you to one mind, one body, one heart, one soul, one DNA. I'm hearing one lifetime as well. And so this is the one mind coming through. The two of your consciousness are going to be this coming into the same match, the same frequency. You're both getting your power back and it's this, your masculine power back. So over these dominant control systems from the Piscean age, old earth. So this is what these structures are over. And it's just going to open both of your hearts up to love. So because like you two have been fighting off these things, these de the devil in variable, various different ways, it shut your heart down. Basically, it's put the walls up right over over them. Or maybe just because you two have been hurt so much, betrayed, tricked, lied to, all these sorts of things, taken advantage of, and then the heart shuts down. And you know, at this point, it this time in life, it's like you don't want to open that heart up any longer and put yourself in these situations again. So this is where the, the, the healing is coming through for the two of you. And it's going to, you because your power is rec recovering now. So all these things that did steal your power, this is, was their sole intention was to be energy vampires and drain. And for this week, what it's showing is that masculine power and the solar plexus. So in your that energy, that drive, you know, that ability to conquer, to protect yourself, to feel strong, to feel safe, to be that warrior in that way, you know, from not from the ego, but from the divine masculine Christ, Holy Grail embodiment. So this is sector. So this is all coming back to it's all being restored back to you both sovereignty i'm feeling it like very grounded like your your the fragmentation is leaving like you're coming back into your bodies now and so you're going to feel more stable and safe in your body as you are as who you are so these attachments and illusions aren't going to be it's like a scattered energy so that's what's clearing for the two of you so it's like you're more confident. You're going to just be able to override the, the beast system simply just by your embodiment and this, the truth will set you free. Like the veils, the ego, the fears, the worries, the fear of attack, feeling under attack, the nervous system is just like not going to have that any longer. It's going to be, it's being removed out of the two of you here. So it's just, you're above it all. Simply you're just being risen above it all and you're going to feel much better. And more stable just generally from attacks is again what I'm hearing so emotionally for you we've got the novice beginner in a sense learning a new skill and this is a five card with the eight or sorry the three of pentacles um, which often talks about teamwork as well so this could be gravitational pull God is saying it's like um, spirit moving you two into this new beginning and then, and I'm hearing it as the bright morning star again. And then we have the eight of cups here um, for you as well. So you definitely, I think she looks very scary. The eight of cups talks about leaving things. There's some serpents in the background here and she looks extremely scared. So um, it kind of reminds me of this serpent caduceus energy here as well that you're running away from, you're, you're being pulled away from quite quickly. So I did something here feels like like the judgment card and this energy and the king of swords like there's some big ending and I'm seeing again like the five sequence here the golden ratio with the shells and there's in this um, gray stone there's this golden ratio here as well so this is talking about the one four four I'm hearing like circumfer like things are coming to a completion circumferences are complete with that. So a big, a big flipping is what it feels like, a big ending, big, I'm hearing catastrophes are over. 
there's some like with this with you emotionally here with the love there's some sort of truth that's coming through for you it's just like whoa and that's where this novice this beginner I, it just feels like all of a sudden you're this either revelation comes through you're in a totally different vibration a totally different embodiment you've gone through the portal and it's like you've gone from one land to another land kind of energy one dimension to another dimension and it's like you're in a brand new place that you haven't been in before and it just feels like things are happening suddenly but i feeling like this is what you've been working towards with all the the purification you've been going through the past month especially But the Most High is saying, like, it's time to open up to love. And that's what this Eight of Cups and the Love card is for you. Be meeting in the middle. So, so meeting your match. So it's like <laughs> you two are, this judgment is coming in. Your counterparts, like, be going through this big shift. And it's like you're, you're coming together now in this new way, this new mindset, this new belief system, this new embodiment of the Holy Grail is also what I'm hearing. Um, so for your blocks this week, we have the seven of chalices, the seven of cups. Um, they had that in their final outcome here as well. The king of wands and then this uh, burden card here as the last card. So um, and that, so this, this would be the karmic partners that you're that you're walking away from. So whatever these energies have been, um, these could be like distorted masculine. There's something because I'm seeing like the chains on this card. So some these burdens that have kept you um, so, so, um, that have been suppressing your masculine power ultimately here as well. And this is the old equation. So it's like the you're being asked to get into this three, six, nine alchemy frequency, not the old sis, B system as well. So there's opponents are over. You're being gifted is what I'm hearing and offer this choice to have this tower. Like there's this tower in the background, like God is saying, I'm going to release these burdens for you, set you free from these shackles if you want it. And have this uh, beautiful new beginning. So this is where like your own masculine can be uh, being f freed and helped this week as well. And any sort of entities, male or female, that have been taking, these could be friends as well. That have been keeping you bound under this burden here and blocked from union ultimately here. That you're being set free of that. And I was hearing a lot of this at the beginning of the reading, like people, friends that have just taken advantage of you and like ghosted you kind of energy. Our friendships just coming to a complete ending the past few years. And um, I do think there are people that have been involved in your union. These could be people from like the twin flame community and or the spiritual community or something or lack mentality is what I'm hearing. And it's like they're they would suddenly leave your life or they would suddenly or you would suddenly see that they were possibly taking advantage of you or being deceptive or blocking you from your union somehow or maybe they were maybe using you for their union like taking advantage of you and your um knowledge your healing abilities your information on unions as well these could be clients i'm hearing things are being rectified on this level so there could have been a lot of ways that this energy that's coming to a final ending with this aquarius full moon has been in your life and consequences there's consequences for their actions now amen to that so it's like finally you're gonna get um so that's why they're with the wealth and the six of pentacles there could be something connected with your career on this level here as well and being taken advantage of by these third-party karmics um so now it's like justice is here with the judgment card for you on this level you're gonna get back now what's been your drive and energy and willpower is the way I'm hearing it as, and it could be that could be then reapplied into your business and career and money and new creative ideas. Um, 
all this new earth opportunities that are opening up and again the money that's coming back in so it almost feels like similar energy with them with you here it's like these attachments are being removed so when this abundance and harvest does come in supply comes in for you these energy things these vampires these people whatever they have been I'm hearing again honing in on your finances this was part of last um, no two weeks ago's ascension energies reading was a, a really a lot around this as well so it's like there could be this financial sector that's also coming up for you and being depleted in this area and so these people these attachments that you might not have even been aware of that have been sucking and draining your finances or your energy and health and well-being to create that and have some sort of stable income and supply coming in like these things were blocking it somehow those burdens are being released but i do feel like all ultimately it somehow stems back to your union with these people so either they were aware of your union or this was the theme with these people And it could be like they wanted you to be in a state of struggle so that you couldn't focus on attaining your counterpart union coming to fruition either. So ultimately, <clears throat> I think they were attacking this, keeping you suppressed and drained on this level to control your union somehow. So this is what's unfolding for you this week is what I'm hearing it as and it's releasing. So you can let this go. And so this unfolding might be like a new understanding around this verdicts are in God just said. So from having to deal with these people in your life any longer. So even if they're not in your life, again, they could have already like done incepted themselves and then like left right and so, but the cord is still there but either way it's coming to an end and it's going to open your heart back up to love so ultimately again this is coming down to love and the emotions as well for the two of you and your ability to be free to love ultimately here as well so wow this card is really really deep so this is the eight of swords panic attacks are no longer is what i'm hearing this this uh man in this card is tied up to this pole and there's all these daggers stuck in him but the eight of swords is about your own mind so it's like these things are are not they're being they're being removed it's about now you releasing that from your mind you can see there's all this battling going on in the mind but this angel's coming to rescue you in the consciousness and then we have focus here as well so i am hearing also like you're getting all of your power back so and there, your ability to create is coming back here so it's like this is very important for the two of you again to create in new earth to create in union together is to complete these cycles i am hearing also like there's stuff in your like these people could have been in your home um this could be part of like the cleansing and clearing and releasing out of your home clearing out possessions these sorts of things as well so there's not any attachments to your life to your womb chakra i'm hearing as well to, uh, ancestors connections with your ancestors so there could be some these these energies have been coming up the past few weeks and months like um possibly release some of the possessions you've had from parents great grandparents grandparents that you've been like heirlooms you know so or these things are being cleared um or you might feel guided to cleanse and purify some of these items as well the, these things are all being rectified is what i'm hearing So the oh so some something with addictions is coming to an end here as well. So addictions that were drain, draining your finances or blocking you from make creating abundance, having it all. I just all of this feels like preparation for what's coming in. Though okay, so the harvest this harvest again that's coming in for the two of you. So this is very important um, time. And this is going to be affecting this major sector of your life. Um, so the final outcome, we do have the nine of cups and there she's in pregnant, pregnant. And this is what I was just hearing. It's like this pregnant, I was hearing the pregnancy of this Christ, Christ consciousness, uh, leadership, the Holy Grail. So this is, and there's a dog in this card here as well, which brings us back to this card. 
um, these, this family's clapping, this could be your ancestors, like just your, your children, your connection for you all coming together here as well. So confidence. Um, so this is, again, the feminine is healing on this level in both of you here as well. We've got the Six of Swords, beautiful. And then the last card we have is the Eagle, number nine, spirit, integrity, connection to the angelic realm. So th this is ultimately like the, the ego mind and these things that were the veils of illusions. And now it's like you're getting this, that, that's all being cleared. And this is um, that, that you're releasing this as well, big time this week, and so are they. And then the connection is now going to come directly from the Most High God and Spirit, and this is what God wants. And as I was saying, like, so that you're both in alignment with your skills, your abilities, serving God, um, this new earth lifestyle, living under Christ and Christ consciousness, being leaders, having that abundance, utilizing it, and to serve that new earth mission of Christ and Christ consciousness, unity, oneness, um, family, the next generation, what you two are producing here as well, and the children and the offspring that are coming um, your way from the two of you coming together as well, and your harvest, harvesting your DNA as well. So this will get you what you two need to be safe, foundationally stable, um, confident, logical, happy like the nine cups is like your wish is fulfilled your but this is all your dreams coming true here things are happening for the two of you there's rewards this is the harvest coming in and most of all it's unconditional love support system so you're going to feel this support system feel this love and so these naysayers these negative entities these attachments this devil i'm seeing the jezebel entity on them here as well like these entities these people these relationships have just all trapped you and kept you bound and blocked you from love, blocked you from creating, blocked you from abundance, blocked you from each other, blocked the Holy Grail. It's like all coming to a completion here for harvest <laughs> season. Virgo could definitely be harvest season when we enter in Virgo season as well. That'll be next week, I believe. So very exciting energies for the two of you. And so do be careful um, with your mind this week and your energy, protecting yourselves, um, listen to what the guidance is that is coming through in terms of uh, cleansing your home, cleansing your possessions, cleansing your assets, and making any sort of necessary changes. But there could be a lot of brain rewiring again going on here, shielding and protecting yourself from these uh, entity attacks and the ego consciousness as well, overthinking, um, maybe going around and around and around on thoughts that aren't serving you any longer, just letting those go as well. And choosing choosing to release these burdens. This is the opportunity that is here, that things are collapsing, I'm hearing. You're winning is what I'm hearing as well. So just go with that and don't, don't say no <laughs> to this opportunity. Just leave, leave and let go. You know, you, you're, you have spirit helping you, there's a team. And your counterparts going through the same thing this week as well. So the three, you, them, and spirit are all working as a team together here to move the two of you away from temptation. This old Piscean temptation template, this control, mas disturbed masculine control system as well. Get all of this back into your hands that belongs to the two of you, including your union. So we're going to be working with the Twin Flame Ascension cards here. You know, I don't love that word, Twin Flames, but this is the love deck that we're going to be using this week for the two of you, for your Holy Grail union to bring the two of you as divine counterparts back home together. So whatever does come through in this extended reading, we use light language, God code healing. We um, This healing goes to both of you and your union, your genetics, your ancestry, your children, your future generations, through all space, time, and dimension, and light lifetimes these are infinite quantum healings we remove what needs to go we code in and activate what god wants to replace with all of that and heal and align we do entity clearings as well um, upgrades ascension upgrades to so whatever each week is unique so you can read down below and see if this week's energies resonate with you if you'd like to join us these are very inexpensive and you can join us and participate on vimeo the link is down below for that you can also do these if you are a monthly or sorry a weekly 
um, watcher of these extended readings, you can participate at a discounted price, a monthly discounted price in the 144 membership portal. The link is down below for that. Within the portal, we also do daily God code healing, light language. Uh, we do chakra healing, energy body healing, and we also do daily scalar wave biofeedback energy healing. So these are two healing modalities when we do biofeedback scalar waves which heals your biology your energy your emotional body these are unique as well each day of the month so if you'd like to participate with us and get extra healing and support from me and get all of my content on an easy downloadable app and you can also connect with other tribe members within the portal so it's a social media app as well and you can connect and find support from other people in our tribe if you'd like to join us in the portal membership portal the link is down below i also do a daily card reading monday to friday on instagram telegram and youtube and a weekly newsletter with more information it's through my website that you can subscribe to that it's at 144godcode.com the links are down below for everything thank you so very much for joining me god bless you both god bless your union and have a very blessed week